Hello, so this is uh, going to be my uh, two trailer build. Um, I am looking to build a trailer to haul all of my tools. I'm a general contractor just getting back in the business after moving out of state. So um, I did a lot of research on YouTube and couldn't find anything that I really liked as far as setups for trailers. Um, so I thought, well, while I build mine, I'll kind of uh, video it and maybe share it, maybe it'll help somebody else out. Um, kind of give my philosophy behind building a good tool trailer. So this is a 6x12 Lock United trailer that I purchased here from a local dealer. Um, it's just an entry level trailer. Uh, there's a couple other options available, Diamond, Cargo, Pace, uh, but really when I went through them they all were really about the same build quality. Uh, and really I, I had to go with a cheaper trailer because really the difference between a good trailer and a and a cheap trailer one of the big differences is weight and um i needed something light because uh as you can see in the background i have a pretty steep driveway my driveway goes up about uh 50 feet in a very short distance and um i didn't want to add too much weight i, I would have preferred to have a tandem axle even maybe a 7 by 12 instead of a 6 by 12 but because of the weight issue and my driveway issue I went as small as I thought I could go and still have enough space. So I went a 6x12 and I went a cheaper model trailer for that reason. Um, these things come in a lot of different colors. Uh, I got a silver because of the grayish color of my tr truck. They had a charcoal, but I thought it was a little bit darker than my truck and I'd rather go a little lighter than darker. So I went with the silver. So with that being said, uh, um, what I plan on doing is basically being able to house uh, most of my general tools, air compressors, table saw, nail guns, um, uh, miter saw, miter saw stands, uh, folding tables, uh, you know, just what you need uh, for just general contracting, kitchen remodels, bathroom remodels, mostly interior work. I don't deal in exterior too much uh, other than a deck here or there. Um, so that's kind of my plan. So one thing that I did pick up for this build was this cabinet from Home Depot. These things retail for about uh, $249. And I was able to get this one for $179. Um, really a good deal. I mean, it's a pretty solid cabinet. It has wheels on it. I don't know if I'll utilize the wheels much, but um, it's going to be one of the key components that I'm going to add to the, to the build. Uh, it's 46 inches wide, has nine drawers. Um, and, and actually a pretty decent cabinet. I saw this a few weeks ago in Home Depot and thought, you know, wow, it's not a bad cabinet for the money. Didn't have an opportunity to get one for 179 and I jumped on it. Um, especially when you think what it's what caused me to buy um, slides and everything to build my own drawers. It just, for the time, it, it wouldn't have been worth it really. For 179 you know, I can get some drawers into my build. So. I'm going to incorporate those. Haven't quite decided where I'm going to place them at yet, but it will be incorporated in this build. Um, but the main philosophy behind this is going to make sure that I keep uh, the weight balanced. Um, it's a lightweight trailer, so I want to keep everything as balanced as possible. Um, and also makes things just accessible as possible, where I can be in and out really quick. Uh, I've seen a lot of builds that guys uh, have done. A lot, of them, a lot of them tend to like to pull their tools out of the cases. Um, for more room. For me, I, I don't particularly like that. I like to keep my tools in the cases because I find it easier to keep the things that goes with the particular tool in there. Uh, for instance, like my router, I like to keep it in my router case because I have all my router bits and everything else in there. So um, you'll see me kind of do my build in a way where I can sacrifice some space but keep everything in the cases. Um, uh, also, uh, as you can see, I have an eight foot opening in my garage. Um, and this, this trailer is a standard six foot trailer inside. So it just fits in my garage and I really needed to fit in my garage. Um, I stay in a neighborhood where they're not too keen on, on work trailers sitting outside in your driveway. Um, so uh, um, I can't put roof racks on the top of this thing. I can, but if I did, I wouldn't be able to get in the garage. And I really don't wanna put them on the side. So uh, I don't need much of a ladder. Just I carry a 20 foot extension ladder and a couple of A-frame ladders. So I'll be trying my best to incorporate those inside the, 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 the actual trailer as well. Um, so that's gonna, one thing that I have to figure out. I um, have some couple ideas in my head, but that will be part of the build as well. Um, 
nothing than that, I mean, in regards to this trailer, um, you know, it's, it's not a bad trailer. Uh, my budget on this project is really to try to do it for around three grand. Um, you know, so far I'm out of 2300 for the trailer. Um, and that was with taxes and everything, which I didn't think was bad at all. I mean, you can't really find a good used trailer for under seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars, and it just didn't make sense not to spend an extra few dollars to get a five-year warranty um, on the actual trailer. So um, that was kind of a no-brainer on my part. Uh, and the good thing about these things, I've owned a couple. When you go to sell them, you almost get dollar for dollar out of them. You know what I find? You know you don't lose much, so you might as well start off with something good. So. Right now, I'm at about uh, $2,500 uh, into my budget, so I have about a $500 budget left. Um, so uh, uh, one other thing that I plan on adding is that I'm going to be putting in backup cameras. Um, there will be a camera at the rear of the trailer. Um, when I have the, the trailer connected, I'll be able to plug that in. And also, there will be a tra uh, camera, uh, a standard backup camera on my truck that I plan on position in a way in which I can actually uh, ensure that I can see my tongue as well. So when I'm lining up my trailer to actually be able to see that. I just I just find it time saving. I mean, the, the cameras are so cheap right now. The two cameras cost me about 30 bucks total and I haven't received them yet, but uh, um, it just makes sense, you know, from my standpoint. It's all about time and in the past when you're trying to load up a trailer by yourself, getting in and out, readjusting. Um, you know, anything that can make that less of a headache uh, will be better. So uh, that's one of my thoughts on that. And uh, that's that's really the gist of it. You know, a basic two trailer. Uh, I'm not trying to create a shop inside of this thing. Just uh, uh, trying to have something to move my tools around and make them as, as accessible as possible and to be in a neat, organized fashion. So uh, follow my build. This is stage one. And, and uh, as this thing progresses, I'll post more videos. Uh, you know, if anybody has some ideas, please feel free to chime in. All right.